on NXT. Okay, I'll get this down. This is my heat meter. Tells me how excited I am. Well, maybe tells you how excited I am for the thing that is currently on the television screen, or more accurately, on the computer monitor. Show kicks off with Charlotte Flair versus some Japanese lass. Squash match. Charlotte has the advantage, beats her down. She's a flair. Bow down to the Queen, which is now natural selection. Prefer bow down to the Queen because they do a bow in motion, but that is more of a heel move name, I suppose. After the match, the bow Sasha Banks comes out. I'm excited for a female wrestling match. NXT, I love you. The boss is just saying, you just hand that tunnel over now, because that's going to be mine. That's going to be mine. Charlotte doesn't have a mic. She's just kicking dirt disrespectfully back at Sasha Banks. Not actual dirt, but like the motion of. And then manages to get Sasha's ratchet chant going. Sasha's not a fan of this, then just lays into her, saying she's got more flair in her little pinky than Charlotte Flair has in her whole body. And then just starts insulting Ric Flair, her old, disheveled old man. And then at this point, Bailey comes out on a crutch because she got attacked last week. And just. She's going to say what Charlotte won't, and Sasha, shut your ratchet face. A crowd, huge reaction for Bailey. Love her dearly. But then, of course, she's on a crutch. The boss has to kick out the crutch, kick out the leg. At this point, Charlotte Flair runs to the rescue. The boss goes away. Bailey's in pain. As Charlotte's looking down, Sasha appears, leaps. Charlotte catches her and just carries her to the rings. Like, give me a ref! Throws Sasha into the ring. Charlotte standing tall over the top of her. Really good visual here. Sasha being really good chicken shit heel, which is the terminology. Shuffling away. Charlotte looking at her. She is furious, even though she's just left Bailey laying on the uh, entrance ramp. But we'll ignore that fact. Of course, Becky Lynch appears from behind, but Charlotte saw that coming. Catches it, knocks her off, but then, bam! Backstabber can't remember the weird name. I prefer the name the bankroll, which is the whole backstabber into the submission move. But just hits the backstabber. Sasha Banks, standing tall, going into NXT TakeOver next week! Which I could not watch legally because I don't have the sodding network. This is the reason I want it, just so I can see NXT, please. I want to give you money, WWE. Let this happen. But yeah, good way to go into a pay-per-view. Charlotte's at the disadvantage. Sasha's on top. This feud has been brewing for like over a year now because they were BFFs together. Charlotte's done a lot of change in her character. Really good. Can't. Followed by an amazing board villains promo. Uh, they did one of these last week. It's like a mini little black and white cartoon. They get called by the mayor to stop the Lucha Dragons Dropping water balloon. It's amazing. Just go and watch it. It's just fantastic. Yeah, just go go watch it. Go watch it. Go watch it. Then we get Team Thick, though I don't think they actually referred to them as that this week, but Buddy Murphy and Wesley Blake. I didn't just look at the screen. I have my notes written on. Versus the Vaude Villains. And Wesley... Blake and Buddy, they're looking a lot stronger. They, I think they're on the verge of becoming like full-on non-jobbers anymore. They're going to be a full-on tag team. Hopefully they can get like a unified name and stuff. But they look really good. And they look really good in this match. Working well together. They're two sort of stocky guys. Um, Vaude Villains put on a hell of a fight. I love some of the Vaude Villains technical moves. Like the, the, the squatting with the Indian Deathlock on the leg. and very, Really good. Full Villains managed to sneak out a win, looking strong going into the pay-per-view against Lucha Dragons as they should, but because they beat a team that looked damn good as well, they look even stronger. Not everything has to be a squash. People can look stronger by beating strong opponents. Let's keep this up. I can't wait to see this Lucha Dragon match. Like, 
Callisto has shown some crazy, crazy stuff and manages to fit it in with the WWE style, which the old Sinkara just couldn't do. They work so well as a team. Why the hell are these guys not on Raw? And the Raw villains really up and coming. I can't wait to see this match together. Stage back, stage segment with William Regal. Um, talking to Tyler Breeze, saying, since Louis walked out last week, no one's seen him, so you can't have a rematch this week. Tyler Breeze doesn't give a damn. Tyson appears, I want it in a match. And then inspiration hits William Regal, who makes those two a tag team against Finn Bauer and Hideo Atami. Good choice. Well done, Regal. Well done. Ball! Ball! Dempsey comes down to the ring and squashes a jobber. Um, takes him a little while, but it's quite a quick one. Beat, I'd say, under a minute. Flying headbutt. Flying headbutt from a guy that size. That's a good finishing move. He does look a little bit awkward on the top rope, but as he gets used to that, I think it'll improve. As he's finished, he's walking, and then the arena goes black, ready for Baron Corbin's entrance. And Baron walks past Bull with not even a look at him. He doesn't even acknowledge his existence. Really like this little feud between them that hasn't actually had a single bit of interaction between them. Clever way to do things. And, of course, the NXT crowd start the count. The match begins, and 13 seconds later, Baron Corbin is your winner. And then you get good old 13, 13, 13 chance. Love you, NXT Universe. You're the best wrestling crowd ever. Good little feud to continue. I don't think this is going to be on the pay-per-view. I'm not sure. I think it, they could just build this up a little bit longer. But yeah, this should be an interesting... Neither of these guys have much personality yet, but building them up like this, you at least get that initial excitement of these two monsters going at it. Another really good Kevin Owens slash Kevin Steen promo talking about the fact that he's met Seth, he's tagged with Daniel Bryan, he met Pac when he was an up and comer, uh, Adrian Neville when he was an up and comer, he's one of Sami Zayn's one of his best friends, all these guys he's wrestled but everyone else got picked before him and that just makes him more hungry to try and get here and be the best and fight because that's what he does. Next week, I can't wait. It's going to be a squash, whatever he's in. He's a really good wrestler. Can't see him using the package pile driver as a finisher, but we will see next week. Tag team match time. Hideo and Finn versus Tyler and Tyson. Why do they keep pairing these two up? It makes it hard to say the name. Don't really look like they're on the same page, but actually they work fine together for the whole match. Um... Uh, it's not the best. I, I could have expected more from the guys in this ring, but yeah, they're still in the phase of really pushing Hideo and Finn, which I'm not against. I just think it's a real shame at the moment that Ty Tyler... See, I did it! Tyler Breeze does not have a storyline at the moment. That's the only issue I see. Apart from that, it's, yeah, it's a decent match. Hideo and Tyson end up going to the outside while the referee's busy looking at them. Finn hits a double foot stomp on Tyler Breeze in the ring. Hideo gets back in, hits a kick to the back of the head, and pins Tyler. There are your winners. Looking strong going in Ascension. Finn gets a promo, well, gets a microphone even, and does a short little promo of, You'd better be ready, Ascension. I, I can't do accents, because he's bringing something they've never seen before. Don't know what it is, but I think it just means his style and his demeanor and his wrestling. But yeah, this should be a really interesting match. Two WWE big guys in the Ascension versus two indie darlings. And it looks like WWE's behind the indie darlings. What a shock. If WWE returns to form and Vince gets involved, it will probably be a squash match. And the Ascension will win. Hopefully not. Should be a very interesting match. Our main event segment promo. It's actually surprisingly short, but effective, I <laughs> want to see this match I'd better find some way to see it and it's probably going to be illegally but that is on you WWE for messing up multiple times but Adrian Neville in a suit so you know he's a bad guy but he's playing we're not going full heel that's the good thing about it it's subtle his promo is subtle and he gets onto the fact that Sami Zayn says he's gonna 
leave if he can't beat him. And he's not going to feel guilty because he ended his career. So he's really playing the fact he knows he's going to win this. It's just a foregone conclusion. Sami Zayn is too nice. He doesn't want to be responsible for his friend. Leaving the company forever, but he's a champion and he will stay champion. Sami Zayn coming out and he is frustrated, he is flustered. He has an angry side to him. He's like, doesn't like what Adrian Neville's saying. He's so patronising. Like, Sami Zayn's just the little sister that he's protecting. Adrian Neville then sort of like, it's like face, he's just on this verge of heel. I think in the match we're going to see full on heel happen. Goes for the handshake. Sami Zayn just can't do it, he can't do it. This is where he goes wrong every time. If he shakes that hand, if he be the nice guy, then he can't win. He has done this time and time again and time and time again. He'll get cheated out of his victory. Slaps Adrian Neville across the face. I just get so angry and he's like, you damn this, I am taking your title at Evolution, or NXT TakeOver Evolution. Storms off, Adrian Neville left. Saw Jord in the ring, staring, stared out. I just want this match! Just put this match on now! Ah, oh, I am a thousand times more excited to see NXT than I am Raw! I am more excited to see NXT TakeOver than I am TLCS! Oh, you do this right. Whoever's writing this, start writing Raw. Either that, or just give me the network so I can just watch NXT and ignore your main products. Just, ah. Uh, so good. This was... There wasn't, like, a huge, amazing NXT match this week, but all of them are building to the pay-per-view. All matches were solid, showing some up-and-coming stars. Storylines are in place. We're getting to a head because the pay-per-view is next week. Good edition of NXT. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below or on my Facebook page. And until next time, like, subscribe, and TTFN.